We gonna drink some tea right now after we put on the kettle and do the intro. We gonna sip it and brew it and tell you all about it. Check it, check it, yeah. People are gonna think I do that just for the outtakes. I actually just do that stuff, okay? It's not for your outtakes pleasure. It's for my pleasure. I swear. How did you swear? Ah, uh, you don't do that? Oh, you're a little boy scout. Oh, that's how you do that? Something like that. Oh, okay. Hello. <clears throat> Hey guys. Hello welcome, there. Welcome back to our channel. Yes. Okay, okay, I'm just kidding. I'll be... <laughs> Leave me a bit of space to say hello. Yes, okay, sorry. Hey guys. Hey everybody. Welcome back to our channel. So today we're doing another tasting, again, brewed by Phil. Yeah! And we're gonna taste this. Something I have been saving for a while. Of course, uh, we're not gonna taste a persimmon. Persimmon? Permission? Yeah, it's not a persimmon. <laughs> so this is my fault. I originally introduced this fruit in English to Jen as a permission, like almost like permission, but that's backwards. It's persimmon. Persimmon. <laughs> I only found out like a year ago that I've been pronouncing it wrong my whole life. Has that ever happened to you? Leave a comment down below if you've had a word that completely confound you for your whole life and you had an embarrassing discovery in public about what the word, how the word should really be pronounced. Persimmon. It's not a persimmon scented tea. It's what's inside. Okay. Tea. And it's tea, of course. And uh, you know what? I think it's uh, kind of uh, important for us to look at the tea and I at least guess the tea category so that you can brew that. So we'll keep that till a few minutes later, I guess. Yeah, I gotta tell them though, full disclosure, I looked in here already and I saw this, I saw this. A little bit hard to get. Oh, okay, it's gone. Okay, there's a piece of paper in here. <laughs> it's I, my note. I push it down to the bottom <laughs> somehow. There's a little note in there which says what the tea is, but it's in Chinese, so all I know is it's four characters, but I will use that information to my advantage. And I know you won't guess that. No. Oh. Just the four characters you cannot guess, but you are able to guess oh, what in general this tea is. I better. Okay? I better. I'm confident today. <laughs> Alright guys, if you're new to the channel, I'm Phil and this is Jen. The channel is all about Chinese tea and its culture. We do tea tastings, we do vlogs, we do uh, how-tos, all kinds of great information about high quality tasting grade tea is found here on this channel. If you think you're into that, click that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll know whenever we go live, we have some great live series that you pr probably wanna check out if you're into these things. And of course, if you find something that you think is useful during this video, please consider hitting that thumbs up. Really helps the channel grow and lets us know that you love us because we love you. Booyah. And, um, sorry, I'm sorry, I was laughing. No, that's okay, I get it, I get it. They're probably laughing too, it's all good. Everybody laugh. <laughs> okay, now come back to the video, great. As I said, I'm confident. I pour the tea out of the permis the persimmon, see? <laughs> I poured the tea out of the persimmon tea storage container. Mm -hmm. Shameless plug, link down below. Uh, down below, sorry, I point up, that's down below. And um, yeah, so there's nothing to do with the fruit about the tea, it's just a storage container. I poured it out into the, uh, into this, into the device here where I can see the tea and now my confidence is a little bit shaken. So I'm gonna, when she's done looking at it, I'm gonna look at it with you. And we're, I'm going to regain my confidence through success or something like that. All right, first, get a stick. Help me feel brave. Mm -hmm. All right, so the leaf is um, pretty dark but multicolored. You know, there's some light, there's some silver. Gorgeous luster, okay? Some of them are quite silky looking. 
um, seems like it may be related to youthful, youthful buds, maybe a little bit of fuzz or how um, on this tea. Pretty longish, I'm um, gonna pick some up, pretty longish straight leaves like this for the most part with a little bit of stem. I think I mentioned uh, what appear to be buds as well in here. But I'm pretty confused um, about the tea. Okay. It's dark. It's dark. And uh, the color of it is interesting. Mm -hmm. So tea category. Okay, let's do... I think I... Because it if decides I don't, how much you put in your guy For sure, right? right? And if I don't know what it is, maybe I can know what it isn't instead. Let's start there. Not green tea, okay? There's no way uh, this is green tea. It's not... Um, I'm not going to throw yellow tea out, but it's probably not yellow tea. Um, it's not based on the aroma of the leaf, which is a little bit risky to use for dry leaf, but I don't think it's a black tea on the shape and aroma together. The luster is kind of off, not that black tea isn't lusterous. So, so we're down, we're left with maybe oolong, maybe um, white. Of course, if it's white tea, it's an aged white, which is definitely in my zone. Um, it, it's looking by Mudanish in pluck. If it was an aged white, it's not by Haoyun Jen. Uh, I don't think it's an aged Shomei either. I'm not confident about that because it looks like it had a bit of rolling. Category? Yeah, yeah. Well, white is, you know, you kind of have to guess the next layer too. But anyway, I, I'm leaning away now based on how rolled this looks though. So what does that push me to? Puar? Maybe? I don't know. Uh, oolong? Not black, not green, not yellow. Hmm. Okay, maybe you can decide. Do you think that would be a good amount for the whole guy one? Okay, I got if it. If you walk away from no, my no. method, great is point. Guess great point. T yeah. type, then decide the T amount. But if this doesn't work for you, maybe you can just go with the go other methods. You know, different I don't people. think so. I think this is too much for this guy one. Okay, which means I basically I don't think it's an oolong. Okay. Right, because this is about the right amount if it's a straight oolong, but it doesn't quite have the character of an oolong. Okay, either. let me tell you what it is. It's a puar. So okay, how much okay. tea leaf are you gonna put? Uh, this is a shem puar. That's right. I'm gonna put as much as I think is right. Okay. Um, First, let's warm up the guy one. Yeah, good call. Okay, so I narrowed it down pretty close. I think I so. didn't get it though. I think I so. I have it. to explain why it is so hard for him, because uh, because when we have tea together, it's mental deficiency. No, just kidding. <laughs> no, no, no. It's a really like uh, because we do Chinese tea, then you would think it's a quite uh, you know six tea category. You choose one out of six, and there's lots of things to rule out. So it shouldn't be so hard, but because uh, when we have a lot of teas, those are uh, weird teas. Sometimes it's half finished, sometimes it's a, a lot of uh, uh, different ways of uh, doing teas, or some are not even quite done or stuff. So we have lots of uh, interesting teas that mm. sometimes that's why he's... Which is really fun for learning and tasting at various right. stages and whatnot. Yes. Mm. Okay. Okay. Can I? Yeah, let's have a smell. Hmm. <laughs> I have to say. Uh, really reserved. Oh, I was close. Yeah. I should have gone with my gut. My first gut when I started to pour that out of the persimmon was, uh, was puar, shem puar, to be precise. I'm going to give it a quick rinse. Right. So here is the interesting thing. I'm a little bit rushing him because <laughs> because when the water is boiled, I want to get to the tea brewing because the water temperature is dropping and from mm. it's boiled, there's a rings, so there's a smell. I want to smell the leaves and stuff. The temperature drops a lot. I just don't want this tea to be brewed in lower temperature. So uh, and then sometimes he just uh, totally stopped and. Uh, uh, talk, which is, you know, we're making a video, I kind of get it, but um, But we also want the tea. I want to taste the tea. I've never had this tea before um, mm. 
and it's supposed to be a good tea. Wow. So I definitely don't want some 90 degree water to brew it. It's not as old as I thought. It looked really old to my... Oh, I'm a little bummed that I didn't get it. Sorry, sorry. No, no, it's okay. Don't be sorry. It's just... Uh, it wasn't like to challenge you or anything. Uh, of course not. Of course not. I'm just saying that, uh, you know, I don't know if you guys are like that, but you kind of want to get it and kind of nail it. I was kind of in that zone and I, as I started in the intro, blind confidence. And then when I poured it out, I had like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> what is that? Is that age white? Is that... It's hard to predict because we don't drink a lot of... Uh, Shame I threw oolong out, so I was I was you sitting really between close. aged white and puar, so really that's close. pretty close. Like in terms of dark, I knew it wasn't some um, Hunan dark tea. It was puar or white tea. I'm just trying to next time. Hang on, let's focus on the taste. This is pretty good. I won't rush you. Okay, we're gonna get all the talk done, then put on the kettle. This is uh, my mistake of not mm. improving the process for you. I don't know. I've I've kind of come to call that characteristic puar that sort of plumminess. But I really feel like if you've never had puar and you've had lots of plums, you might not like it's not really plummy. It's just that characteristic shen puar. Really round. Really round um in the mouth. I'm feeling pretty good about this this brew, the way it's infused. Yes, uh, me too. Uh, the flavor is balanced. Um, the tea is doing most of the work for me here. Let's not give me too much credit. Oh, this is nice. I think wood this... and fruit. Mm. I think the sitting here has the effect of uh, almost like a. A driver at the passenger seat feeling because the habit of driving is so different I mean in terms of the brewing that's why I was like why am I keep rushing you and still so <laughs> oh I understand because you're used to brewing mm. just like somebody who's used to driving is suddenly in the passenger seat if, yeah. if people don't do that the way you're used to it it's, it's a little bit annoying yes. or whatever well, it's right. really getting under the nerve a little bit you see, I'm always on the edge of danger here. <laughs> Let's talk about this though. This has got an interesting, I got some woodiness. I need to think. Mm. Maybe you need me to be quiet. So no, you can no, think. no, no. What What's you're okay? throwing out, those tasting notes are really good. I really like that. What is something about Shempuar? I look forward to the second brew. Mm, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing how this opens up. Okay, let's see for those of you who are familiar with Shempuar, what this tea doesn't have, at least on the first infusion, is um, it's really soft. Uh, don't get me wrong, full flavored, big, round, thick mouth feel with those notes of wood and plum, very luscious in the mouth very friendly too. Sometimes Shen can have a little bit of a bite. Maybe you like that. Um, this one is really smooth, but we'll see how it goes With a on. mini touch of a bitter. Yeah, enough it's to keep... Really not a very a lively, a lively touch of mm. bitter, but it's not like a... Like I w wasn't like, before you mm. said that, I didn't think of that. I was because he was describing that. So oh, I'm so trying good. to dis uh, kind of search for certain things that I can add to your description. Mm -hmm. That's how I mm -hmm. realized, hey, it does have a little bitter. It didn't jump out. Yeah. It didn't. Um, it just keeps it lively. Make me unpleasant or mm -hmm. anything. It's mm -hmm. just a, that poor kind of a yeah. taste. Mm. Yeah, enough to have it, to give it some some um, some dynamics in the mouth. Um, it's almost like you said, if you're not paying attention, you might not notice it's bitter, but there is that, you know, that, that little, mm. s you know, fun. Very smooth, mm. very smooth. And you, you mm -hmm. also notice that the, the color of the leaf is pretty dark. Mm, smell that. Oh, we have reached 100 oh, yeah. degrees. 
This is good. This has that really pleasant, sweet floral in it. Right? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh, this... <sighs> it's so hard with tasting notes because a sweet floral is something that um, you may hear. Cool. A... a lot of places we would use that, but they're yes. not the same. Yes, it's totally, right? it's Puar sweet floral, not yeah. Oolong or Fen Huang Den Song sweet floral no. whatsoever. No, this is a sugar sweet. Like uh, we had that uh, Feng Huang Dan Tong the other day that was like a uh, oh. honey sweet. Mm. That kind of, a, yeah. they're different. With like profile. that orchidy, you know, just like the name, but it had right. very different, like completely. But it does have, like that's mm -hmm. that soft mm, character of this tea is that uh, somehow present, soft but firm floral if i could say if that makes any sense like it's it's got a, a resolute personality not overbearing kind of thing but definitely not weak if i could explain it like a personality if that makes sense mm. we have we found that in some of the really great rock teas too that personality is almost a better way to describe them because they have the uh the strength and character of and maturity without being overwhelming. This kind of reminds me of that. Mm. Whoa, waking up. Yeah. You're like... mm. Oh, really bright, really bright. Definitely has more of that little bitterness. Then it's cleaning up with some sweetness and some fruity, that fruity complex woody. Mm. I'm gonna breathe over it while you talk for a while. <laughs> That's challenging. <laughs> so, I'm trying to talk. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mm. Okay. The so this tea, I had high hopes for it, and the first infusion isn't very mind blowing for me. And this infusion start to give me a little bit of that, um, a little hope, but it's still not quite reach my expectation. So I still would love to see more infusions coming out. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I don't think it's a major like a brewing issue. It just mm. needs time to unroll. And somehow I still feel like it's not the quality not mm. quality, like it wasn't up the You had name. certain expectations. Yes, right? because this is Ban Zhang Wu Jai. That's the four characters. Ban Zhang mm, Wu Jai, the Wu Jai. five uh, villages. Oh, wow. So One of the five villages? No. So Ban Zhang mm. is that... Wu Jai, five villages. Five villages, mm, got right. It. Mm. So you have the famous Xin Ban Zhang, Lao Ban Zhang, those are pretty famous, mm. and Lao Man Er. And you also have the less famous, I think the other two are... Ba, ba Ka Nang and uh, what's the other one? Ba Ka Long, I think so. I'll double check and put that underneath. It's just a, I think it's a Ba Ka Nang and Ba Ka Long. Those mm -hmm. are lesser known ones also there. And uh, uh, Ban Zhang is in the Bulang Mountains. So mm. it's a mountain range of Bulang. Mm. I didn't know that. So for me on the second infusion, I was just like, wow, this is really fun. Really, this is really good. Right. Because like I didn't have an expectation. Right. So for me, I'm just experiencing that raw. I've got those, those, that bright note that we talked about on the first infusion, a little mm -hmm. bit bitter. Now mm -hmm. it's, um, it's more present. Again, not unpleasant. It's a quick hit with the bitter. And then the after sweet comes flooding into the mouth with fruit and wood and some of those 
if you breathe over the liquor, you get those floral notes. For me, I was quite excited about the tea as I had the second infusion. I am also okay with the second infusion quality of the brewer. I think you brew that perfectly. Okay, I, I really thought it was a little bit strong. I would try to be a little bit more timely, but still, I did enjoy it. Mm. Um, really nice and surprisingly, with I found that that was a perfect brew. Cool. I didn't yeah, feel like it. Yeah, usually I like it a little bit stronger. Stronger, than I like that. Yeah. But I might, you know, there's always personal calibration vis a vis mm. the tea type, too. But what I'm getting now after a moment without sipping and just sitting here is this lovely thing I love about Puar is really late return sweet. My mouth is watering sweet right now. Mm -hmm. It's mm -hmm. really pleasant that uh, almost, I call it like bubble gum. It's a little bit off, but mm -hmm. for me, it reminds me of Junglung climbing the mountain. Right. 30, 40 minutes after we had the tea, I'm still, right. I'm still having it's that. It's very, how should I say? It's not, I it's know. not as I'm a... like a tennis player, te well, tennis spectator. <laughs> <sighs> it's not as aromatic. Like when there's no liquor in my mouth, it's not as aromatic as like a oolong tea or stuff. But no, no, no. just there's something. I know mm. there's something. I had tea. I had beside this return suite of Ashley, mm. something there. The aroma, the lingering, barely there, but really pleasant, a refreshing aroma is very comfy. It's mm. a really good tea. It's just not my expectation. Right. And for me, that whole aroma, that whole sensation at this point in the sip, if I was to get away from using other words to describe a tea, I would just say that's Puar. That is for me a signature element of uh, Shen Puar, if you want me to be specific, but yeah, mm. Puar to generalize. Really lovely. Mm. All right, so I'm really excited by this tea. Going in for... Third infusion. That's right. Hmm. Pretty quick infusions at this point. The leaf is nicely opened. Um, as we mentioned, um, the second one was perfect for her. I felt like it was ever so slightly a little bit strong, so I'm not making major adjustments here. Um, freshly boiled, 100 degree water, exactly what you want for a tea of this nature and quality. And away we go. Boiling hot tea. A lot of people who are new to Chinese tea or who who uh, come across us at festivals in person and, and are, have never seen Chinese tea ask about the tiny little cups. Well, boiling hot tea, I can sip that in a few seconds, is one of the reasons for tiny little cups. If you're yeah. brand new, you know, if you're kind of old school and you're like, why is he telling me that? You know, it's just for those new people. Relax. If you've ever had um, really good tea and had the burden to have to ex explain or describe it to somebody, then you'll know that maybe why I'm sighing so deeply right now. This is a pretty good tea. I'm really enjoying it and I'm really at a loss for words. There's something that happens with great tea where the flavor notes stop jumping out at you, you know, peach or plum or this or that woodiness, leather, old book, whatever the note might be, they stop jumping out at you and they really sort of join hands or integrate with each other to make their own thing, their own experience. This is what great tea does. So for those of us who have to write about it and talk about it, it's, it's lovely, but it's confounding. It's really hard to describe. And I feel like any word I pick is not going to do it justice. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah. I know I, I say that a lot and I'm just trying, to, and if you've, I don't even need to explain it if you've had a great tea and you have to describe that in words, it's like, I wish I could just give you a sip. It'd be much easier. I'll mm. offer my cup. It's just all come together so nicely. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm still in zero expectation land, so I'm going crazy. I see in your eye, maybe you've got something to say. 
嗯、um, ，I was thinking， 嗯，苦涩有余，霸气不足。You know, it has a, it has that bitterness, that astringency that I like. Uh, mm. But it's not powerful enough. Not strong.、Mm. It's not saying it's not、yeah. strong enough. It's not powerful enough. Back to that character I was talking about, I think earlier, right? Yes.、That、kind of. Yes, of course.、Mm. It's not pure、uh, Lao Ban Zhang or、uh, stuff. It has other. It's kind of a blend of five. I don't know what's the ratio. It definitely you taste that mango, that bitterness, that、um, and the softness.、Mm. Oh, interesting bottom cup. And、um, I would expect something more powerful. It's definitely old tree, and it has、um, maybe a hundred years old or something.、It、has some ear, but it's not thick enough. It's、mm. not thick enough. The first one was、uh, pretty standard. Like it doesn't show. It's like super old. It's not thick.、Uh, that's why I was、uh, looking forward to second and third. And now we have third, like a three infusions. I、mm -hmm. still think the most fail wasn't.、Uh, Up、didn't measure up that I want for the for the region no, basically, right? No.、Mm. It's a good tea. Yeah, I have to say, like coming out with only barely. No, I cannot claim that I that I nailed the tea category, but I came close, and with only expecting Shempuar once it was revealed to me,、um, really enjoying it. But again, I don't have that that expectation. So yeah, it's a good tea for sure. But it does matter, of course, when you see the price tag.、Mm. So, so expensive tea, really expensive tea. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Decent character. I really, I'm really enjoying it. I have to say, really enjoying. New style pour as well,、mm. which my personally, I'm、Definitely. not a big fan of. I、mm. don't hate it, but I feel like it lose something, right? Can I take a、Comment. shot of explaining that a little bit? Yes, so please. So by new style, what she means is, um, uh, Shen Puar、mm. old time is very minimally processed, and it's pretty. For lack of a better word, it's pretty mean in the first year, right? It's pretty,、yeah. pretty gonna. It's gonna come and get you in the mouth. It's gonna be、um, harsh. To be blunt, it's gonna be harsh. So now in the newer style, they're softening those up through minor processing steps. And I'm by processing、Doing、steps, a little bit like smash, a, smash, right? No, they do a little bit more rolling and stuff.、Right. The concept is to give it a little bit more oxidized, so the soft、right. soften the taste、mm -hmm. a little bit more accessible, maybe less astringency、mm -hmm. uh, in the leaves, and that's why we taste like、uh, that smoothness、right. in the leaf. And by new, it's not saying this tea is quite widely spread process nowadays. Right, yeah, a lot of、much. almost all the shampoo you would taste nowadays would、mm. have that a little bit. More rolling, right? Which you、yes. would they kind of slowly learn from the oolong process to give it、mm -hmm. a little bit more、uh, accessible in early age. Yep, yep.、Mm. Yeah, they want to sell the tea, so they want it to be pleasant for as many people as possible. So their shelf is、yeah. empty at the end of the year or、mm -hmm. the end of the day.、Mm -hmm. Nothing wrong with that. But the curious thing is, is how will it age, right?、Mm -hmm. So that's kind of. TBD. Twenty twenty one. Because when we were talking about that、um, this topic back in twenty sixteen, we did a batch of traditional shampoo、mm. and、um, new style, which nowadays maybe just shampoo. The old style vis-a-vis -vis the current style,、mm -hmm. and、uh, right out of the batch, you taste the difference already. The old style is really, really mean, really、mm -hmm. harsh. Well, <laughs> the new one is more drinkable and stuff.、Mm -hmm. So we kind of want to use the same material, the, the just the different process, same garden, same materials, same harvest、right. time, everything. Isolate to do the a, variables. Yeah, same、too. aging. 
uh, condition mm. to see the difference because we notice and uh, lots of uh, tea drinkers, at least like back in China, our tea circles are when they age tea, they prefer the old style because potential. Once you plug, mm. once, once the leaf is plugged, what's there is there. You react and everything. That's the material. You use that early, right? There's less substance to react for aging. But um, so that's why we're doing this kind of little experiment. Mm -hmm. This is five years now. So at a certain point, we're going to taste it again and yeah. again in 10 years. And yeah. Hey, if you want to see that video, leave a comment down below. Let us know if you'd like to see us pull out those uh, that experimental 2016 twin shens, you know, um, current style and old style. Yeah. Let us know if they're a thumb up or whatever. Mm. I'd like to do that video, so please leave a comment. <laughs> I want to taste it. All right, so that wraps up this video. Um, I'm going to continue to sip this off camera. I'm mm -hmm. loving this tea. And, but we're going to wrap it up for now and say uh, good day to you guys. If... Oh, go ahead. Okay, you, your part, your part. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, if you like the video, please do give us a thumbs up. And uh, if you'd like to see more tasting videos like this, uh, or if you have some ideas about some different twists we could do, leave a comment down below mm -hmm. um, where I'm guessing the leaf or guessing how I should brew it or anything like that. Um, I love them. They're fun. Make me a little nervous, but it, hey, <laughs> it helps me grow too, right? So uh, yeah, leave some comments down below about what you might like to see. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to Bye. the channel and click that notify bell so you'll know whenever we go live or post new videos. Until next time. Keep steeping. Keep steeping.